been a couple days this is how i felt about it when we went in phobia and, and now i'm like phobia. <laughs> so what are it your was thoughts very disappointing okay that's uh definitely at the bottom of the list so far yeah so no spoilers for people no, going. Okay, no spoilers yet but no giant set pieces. No giant set pieces. No, I, I don't know what I can say and not say. Well, we can say that uh, it's eight different haunted houses. You have to pay for basically each one independently. Eight. Except for the three in one. There's a three in one. Which they should just call one. They should call one, but it is probably three times bigger than the rest. It yeah. was the biggest. People don't need to go to every one there if some how do people get the best bang for their buck if they're going to food i think me personally the best bang for your buck is to pay for two houses 15 bucks each and do the last two that would be dawn of the machine dawn of the machine and genetic nightmare genetic nightmare you put those two together decent haunted house on its own on its own or you could just pay for the big haunted house, which would be the same price. Which I, I don't think it was as good as the other two put together. I liked it. I liked it. That's my opinion. So, what don't pay for is... Don't pay for the whole thing. Don't pay for the whole thing and don't pay for the clown one. The clown one was the worst. That was the bottom of the... I don't know how you have a clown haunted house without clowns in it. There was some clowns, but it wasn't like... And it's supposed to have 3D glasses, and they forgot to give us the 3D glasses. They forgot to give them to us, or, or talk even about them tell us about them at all. They just had a booth way over to the side that said 3D glasses 
a dollar extra. Oh, they charge you extra for An the extra 3D glasses? An extra dollar for glasses. Lame. In the past, the 3D clown has been the highlight of phobia. Yeah. And it we was, went back in the day. Yeah. And it was great. It was amazing. One of the best this clown time, ones I've ever been to. And this was so much. one of the worst I've ever been to. Bad then, job, phobia. And then, well, and then there's the middle of the road ones that were the Dark Institute, I think, the mental hospital, mind control. Yeah. And they were okay. They were okay. They were, I liked their entrance yeah, more they, than the actual they were one in the house. They were okay. They had a cool, they do a good job with theming, though. They did and do I a like good job with that. theming. Every haunted house has its own theme and it's really tight in the theme. In the theme. I did. I did like that. And on the plus side, their characters outside. Characters? Yeah, no. actors. Their actors outside that were interacting with everyone yeah, you're gonna were see really that. great. Yeah, they were really and great. And they do have some really cool sculptures and artwork outside that are just like... They do. They're great for photo ops. They're super cool. And they have a bunch of cool stuff in in the haunted, especially the Dawn of the Machine and Genetic Nightmare. Very Hellraiser-esque lot of that stuff but like none of it was a real showstopper like we've seen in other haunted houses yeah but it was a disappointment the act the standout were the actors there were a lot of actors in all these haunted houses and they are giving it their all well we did go on opening night we did go on opening yeah, night as a grand opening but we actually had some younger kids with us and they fell at one point and they got really they scared. got really scared and they fell and one of the actors took his mask off and was completely ready I think to they're help supposed to do that yeah but you know the actors were good the actors were good but it really felt like really low budget compared to everything else we've seen and it really seemed like the actors was kind of all they had really. yeah that was it was if it was half the price i would have been okay with it yeah but it was just way too expensive it's for way, what we got yeah absolutely the other the others that we've been to deliver way more at a lower price point like half the price mm -hmm. like not a small amount yeah if someone wants to go and get the most out of phobia either pay for the one big haunted house or pay for both genetic nightmare and mm -hmm. dawn of the machine yeah the clown was the Don't absolute worst that's don't pay for that. And then the others, if you wanted to see the others, they're kind of in the middle of the road. They weren't bad, but they weren't great. So if you have like, you know, just like 15 bucks and you can only afford to see one haunted house, Genetic Nightmare. I think that was my top like of one. all of them. If you only have 15 bucks, it was pretty long for being just like a tiny haunted yeah. house. And yeah, I like that one the best. Yeah, I'd agree that or Dawn. I mean, they're they're also very similar in theme. Yeah, Genetic but that nightmare. one just felt longer. Yeah, fair. It felt longer. Okay. Uh, Spoilers. Okay, spoiler warning. Uh, don't drop your ticket. Yeah, sweet. Somebody was actually really nice and picked up our ticket that we dropped and turned it into the front and then gave it back to us. Yeah, that was That was really nice. nice. Their employees are nice. Yes, their employees are nice. But spoilers, there was... Well, I don't even know how to put this. Everything was just like, just walking around. There was no like dynamic level changes. There's no level changes. And there's no floor work. There's no, no big rooms that move around. No big animatronics. No big animatronics. And we're talking the entire park. We're talking all, all eight, eight haunted, haunted houses. houses. Which is like, what? Flat. Walking around. It had a very like do-it-yourself backyard haunted house feel, which is yeah, fine. It's fine, but not for the price. Not for that price. Mm -mm. No. It felt like the only thing that was I guess like jump scare worthy were all of the actors. Yeah, that was that was really it. That was it. Every scare came from an actor. There was no there was no air blast that I remember. Yeah. Nothing surprising. No, it was all, all just very middle of the road, super predictable. And and the, even if you don't judge it at all by the other haunted houses that we went to, mm -hmm. if you just judge it by phobia of the past. If you've been uh, to phobia of the past, this and is you a shadow it, of itself. This is just not even the 
I felt it's like not. the creativity wasn't there at all. Yeah. Maybe it got bought out by somebody else. There was I mean, like a it bunch has of moved location. And then, like, the mu did you notice music at all? I in, don't think so. In any of it? If there was music, it was turned way down, and yeah. I didn't notice it. I didn't either. No music. Yeah. Not very really good. And the actors were given the actors were the highlight. They were giving it their all. This was not their fault. No, no, the actors were good. Yeah. Everything else was just mediocre. Yeah. I think they're kind of coasting on the name that they built for themselves ten years ago. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. 20. Yeah. I mean they've been around for a long time. Over thirty years. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely seem like they've gotten complacent and uh, they haven't put any like a big investment in anything in a little while. We expected more and we were definitely disappointed. Everybody, everybody of the night was disappointed. So if you can only go to one haunted house for the whole season, don't go to phobia. Don't go to phobia. Don't go to phobia. This one hurt because I had the most, I had the most excitement for phobia. I had the best memories of phobia as a kid. Yeah, well, that's kind of our fault. We're very nostalgic about it. And we're like, oh, it's going to be amazing. It was amazing. I don't think it was nostalgia back in the day. I can remember things from No, it phobia. was amazing back in the day and that's why we had so much high hopes high hopes for it this time and it was a big letdown it was a, it was a big letdown it's like the first negative review we've ever done i know i, know. I don't it's like it it doesn't feel good. yeah that's how you know we're honest more haunted houses to come like and subscribe leave a comment if you've been to phobia and what you thought about it i don't think you're sincere when you tell them to like and subscribe you need to mean it. I don't know how to say that in a meaningful way. I would love if you, would you like go. and subscribe. There you go. Now I believe it. <laughs> now I believe you it. You look so dumb. I didn't think it was dumb. Ooh, whatever. If you like our content, you should totally like and subscribe. There you go. We want to see you back here. Hey, I like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. We well, gotta thank them for watching too. And thank you for watching. Yes. All 12 of you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> I love every one of our subscribers. Me too. We have so little that like I almost know we by name. We appreciate each and every <laughs> one of you. Oh, Thanks man. for watching. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how much of that I leave in. <laughs>